DIY and since it's spring I thought that I could do a slightly themed DIY today so I'm gonna show you how I made this recycled uh, cement vase using well cement and a plastic bottle so let's get started start by cutting your bottle just a little before the center to give it a better finish, I'm going to melt the edge of the plastic using an iron. Make sure to protect it by using a piece of wax paper and tape to hold it. Press the plastic to the iron until the edge starts to melt and curve inwards. Make sure all the sides are even. Now onto the cement part. As a mold, I'm using this coffee capsule box that, as you can see, is the perfect size. If you don't have a box that fits perfectly, you can always make your own template. I'm taping the bottom of the box so the cement doesn't leak out, and since I don't need it, I'm also removing the top part. As you can see, the bottle fits really nicely inside. I don't want the bottle to peek through the base of the vase, so I'm going to start by preparing a smaller batch of cement to fill just the bottom. Pour the cement and add water a little at a time until you have an even smooth consistency. Pour that into the box Spread it and tap it to release any air bubbles. Let it set until it has slightly hardened, in my case it was about 15 minutes. After that I made another batch of cement to fill the rest of the box. After I placed the bottle inside I realized the cement was not nearly enough so I made a bit more and poured it around. After about 2 hours I was able to remove the box to help the cement dry a little bit faster. This actually took me about a week to fully dry, but it may depend on the type of cement that you're using and the size of the piece. You can make this type of project on the weekend and wait until the next one to work on it again. Once it was dry I sanded the top and the sides to make the texture a bit smoother. If you feel like the cement is starting to crumble a bit, kind of like a sand texture, it may not be fully dry. If this happens, leave it to dry a bit more and check on it again later. Remove the dust. I just used my paintbrush and also a paper towel for this. There was some sticky residue on the bottle, so I got rid of that with rubbing alcohol. Do not use acetone, I tried that and although it works much faster, it will also take off the shine of the plastic and make it slightly white. If you want a minimalistic look, you can leave it as is, but I wanted to add a little more color, so I taped painter's tape in a diagonal line, making the sides match like this, and painted all the sides in this soft green shade. Next, I added another intersecting line, again with painter's tape and painted it orange. Again, making the sides match, like this, so it kinda looks like a triangle. You can see that when I took the painter's tape, some of the green paint came off and I covered that by painting on top with the green paint again. Lastly, I just cleaned the plastic to make it look as shiny as possible and that's it! Thank you so much for watching, let me know if you enjoyed this video by giving it a thumbs up 
and leave your comments, suggestions, questions in the box below. I always try to answer to everyone, so ask away, I will answer as soon as I can. And that's it for this video, I'll talk to you next time. Bye!